On the 4th of December 2019, the ZANU PF Politi Bureau held its 334th ordinary session. The session was punctuated by the arrival of Vice President, retired General Chiwenga, after a long absence due to illness. The President and First Secretary of ZANU-PF, Comrade E.D. Munangagwa, arrived at the party headquarters to chair the meeting. In his opening remarks, that were open to members of the media, President Munangagwa had this to say. May I welcome you all to the 334th Ordinary Session of our Politburo. I specifically wish to welcome our Vice <coughs> President and Second Secretary of ZAN-PF, Comrade Chiwenga, who has been away due to some illness. May we welcome you. I'd also wish to express on behalf of ZAN-PF and uh, our people, the people of Zimbabwe, for the services and care rendered to our Vice President, courtesy of His Excellency, the President <coughs> of the People's Republic of China, His Excellency Xi Jinping, who personally undertook and instructed the system to give maximum care to our Vice President. And we are happy that he's back with us. This kind of solidarity indicates the strength and deep relations between Zimbabwe and China after our relations were upgraded the level of um, comprehensive strategic partnership with the People's Republic of China. We are holding this meeting barely a week ahead of the 18th National People's Conference. We look forward <coughs> to receiving reports on the state of preparedness in view of our renewed impetus to increase productivity, grow our economy, and create jobs, we must give enough attention to the content of the discussions of the conference. All departments through their respective thematic committees must determine to see a qualitative improvement in the discussions and the resolutions of the conference with regards economic direction we are taking. Our conference must proffer the appropriate policy guidance to government and outline achievable goals. Since our last meeting, the party held DCC elections in Ulawa province. Today we will receive the full report of those elections. I want to congratulate the Mashonal and East provincial leadership for successfully organizing a well attended party rally at the sidelines of the official opening of the Mausekwa Hospital. <laughs> On the same note, I say well done to our Youth League, whose youth convention held last week in Kadoma 
was a resounding success also. Such events are important and they help keep the party with the people and the people well in touch with the goings on in both the party and government. We look forward to our forward to other wings of the party organizing such meetings in the near future. Let us keep on the momentum. We will not tolerate armchair leaders. The culture of the Second Republic is a servant leadership. Those who are not prepared to, fo to fold up their sleeves and work for the party, bad luck. During the course of last week, I met with the leadership of the Catholic bishop, bishops. Sorry, We had fruitful discussions which centered on the state of the economy, governance, and the political dialogue processes, as well as the ongoing illegal collective job action by some doctors. On Monday, I held yet another meeting with leaders of the various indigenous independent churches from across the country. We have come together to form the Zimbabwe Indigenous Independent uh, Christian Council as a voice of the churches which have the majority of our people as congregants in the country. On Saturday, I had a very insightful engagement with members of the cultural and creative industries in Bulawayo. This sector has immense potential to create employment for our youth, women, and SMEs across the country, as well as help in the preservation of our cultural heritage and national identity. Such dialogue on all possible platforms must be undertaken by the party leadership. We must remain a listening party. Following my uh, challenge to the political leadership to be more visible at the grassroots level and associate, and associate themselves with programs of government, I was pleased to see more party leaders in both the, uh, from both the political and central committee uh, attending part in the government programs last week. This culture must continue as we display unity among ourselves and as a party. Let us now take our agenda.